but uh, we don't have uh, all wheel drive or four wheel drive this time so let's see what the results are but for now let's continue with the file and get cracking Before we start this video, we want to say a big thank you to Bridgestone India. Bridgestone has been one of the biggest tyre manufacturers in the world and they've had their hands in almost all types of motorsport. Everything from Formula 1 to Pikes Peak Hill Climb Racers. We are proud to say that Bridgestone India has been a keen sponsor in this year's Valley Run project that we're doing. They have given us amazing back-end support but apart from the back-end support, they create some amazing tyres. We highly recommend their B series of tyres if you're looking for something like a reasonably priced tyre but it's also very durable and has good amounts of grip. And if you're a car enthusiast, we highly recommend you to check out the Turanza and Potenza lineup of tyres which are proper proper enthusiast tyres. So if you're looking for some new tyres, do check out Bristol India. Hello, hello from a very busy day at Auto Desert. There is just a day remaining to the Valley Run and as you can see we are super busy. Today there is quite a lot to do. We are going to be tuning this beautiful 320D which is 190 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque. We don't know after the stage 1 what is it going to be pushing out but today this is in the agenda as well as us uh, branding our cars with Bridgestone's uh, logo because they are our official sponsors now. Thank you so much for Bridgestone and believing in us and uh, get yourself some Bridgestone tyres. As you can see, a lot of important stuff was going on. We were stickering up a bunch of cars. All of the big boy cars of the team were arriving today like the CLA45 AMG and Audi A6 3 liter TDI for precautionary checkups before the race weekend. Okay, so as you guys know, we have already taken the file out. We are reading and checking for any errors and seeing if uh, what all we can do for the stage one, which I think right now is the best time to talk about the car's competition. Uh, this is going to be running in a category with mostly two liter diesels. Last year, we had a four wheel drive Q3 in the same category. This year we are going to be running the 320D. Uh, we do think that this is going to be pushing a little bit more power than uh, the Q3 but uh, we don't have uh, all wheel drive or four wheel drive this time. So let's see what the results are but for now let's continue with the file and get cracking. Alongside that, Soham's Laura needed a general service to be done. That meant stuff like opening up the carbon fiber air intake to clean the filter inside, a routine oil change and a quick scan of the car to make sure everything is fine. It was starting to get dark and almost all of the cars were stickered up and ready to go. And we wanted to do a quick photo shoot. So we blasted up towards the mountain and saw all of the beauties lined up together. Mind you, there was still a bunch of cars missing like the Sias, Polo and Punto. 
but oh my was this a great sight to behold now when we came down the BMW 320d started showing some error codes and according to the owner the car just didn't seem to be pulling as much as it should even after a stage 1 tune so we ran a quick check and it turned out that the car was kind of in limp mode because of a bad sensor we did order the sensor but we were hoping it will reach before the valley run but apart from that it was a very eventful day thank you so much for watching my name is bhavneet paswani i'll see you in the next one